So we are still up in this private reserve in Costa Rica, 1000 meters above sea level. It's a bit too high for Sericopelma, so we will go a little bit further down the trails in the hope that we are able to spot a Sericopelma species. Um, the species we're looking for is Sericopelma feruginea. The paratype female actually is located right next to us in another village. So that's the best bet if we're going to find the Sericopelma. It's like 90% chance that it is Sericopelma feruginea because it is actually at the type locality of the paratype. So we have not found it in this uh, trail we walked on. We have spotted well over 20 adult females of Megaphobema mesomelas. trail goes starts at around 890 meters above sea level and goes up until like 1100 meters so we have spotted several different megaphobema mesomelas um, in all different sizes well over 20 adult females of course also spilolings rito has counted over 15 small juvenile spilolings of this very species and we've also managed to find a stichoplastoris specimen um, it looked identical to the ones we've seen in previous episodes and in previous days. It was also on 1000 meters above sea level, um, certainly sharing the habitat with uh, Megophobema mesomelas. So we will see what will happen if we go a little bit further down elevation wise. Maybe we will still spot the Sericopelma. We have hopes of course, but uh, so far we were not that lucky. And today we're in a more lowland forest on the Caribbean side, which yeah, actually heads into the mountains. So it's not right on the sea level, but we're about yeah maybe 600 meters above sea level. And here we are trying to find some Sericopelma species. Maybe there are some, we are not sure yet. Um, there are some localities from Valerio, 1980, who described several different Sericopelma species. Hopefully we will find one. Um, yeah, wish us luck and I will guide you through the forest, how we search for them and hopefully we're going to find one. So we managed to find one, an adult female actually, and it's brown it's dull brown and I think I know how the males look like they have a very reddish abdomen not 100% sure but uh, since the nearest type locality is Sericopelma feruginea let's call them feruginea in case um, 
I'm wrong, I'll write it somewhere here because once I'm back I will check all the localities. Right now we're in the field and we don't have any and we don't have all the localities and data with us to check. So anyway, um, we found one and we'll film it for you. It was in a nice little hole in a burrow, which is typically for Sericopelma, not that um, yeah, burrow-like for a tarantula. So it's more of a possible mammal burrow. They just occupy them when the mammals are gone. So easy for us and very happy that we found another one checklist on our list. So we have now one more tarantula species in Costa Rica, which we can document, take pictures of and show it to you. So I'll also uh, show you some of the forest, some of the rounding forest. And you can see in the background, some of these noises are actually from poison dart frogs. So I'll check if I can film one. Um, they're quite hard to document, so thanks.